Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Dina Hype coming back to you guys with a brand new video and I hope you guys have a great day so far. In today's video what you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be covering some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies info. Now we're going to be talking about everything from the new pack punch features to the new perks, armor plates being inside the game, field upgrades, even some new upgrade systems inside of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now, if you guys are going to enjoy, make sure you guys do drop a like here on today's video. It would be very much appreciated. And also, if you guys are brand new to the channel, do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified the second I post a new video here on the channel. But without further ado, let's get straight into things. Now, to start off here with the first thing, a huge collection of Black Ops Court War zombies leaks have seemingly revealed a ton of key details for the upcoming mode, including new weapons, perks, armor, and plenty of additional features. As you guys know, Zombies in Call of Duty has been around since World of War, which was released back in 2008, and the round-based mode has been a staple in Treyarch games ever since, and the upcoming Black Ops Cold War game is going to be no different. Now, the iconic mode is returning in a big way, not only for a few little features to be on display on a new map, but players will be able to actually join up with friends across all platforms for the first time ever with cross-gen play. Now there's a ton to look forward to, but before the November 13th launch, a wide array of details have already leaked out online. From brand new features in the latest iteration, to the surprise of inclusion of armor, and even a new spin on the pack punch, there's plenty to digest, and here's going to be an overview of everything you need to know. Now first up, the overview is armor is coming to zombies. I don't know exactly how this will work, but it says here, and a first for the series, armor is reportedly making its way to the zombies experience. Similar to how it functions in Warzone, players will be able to equip three armor plates at once. Additionally, this armor can be upgraded at brand new armor stations around the map. This means that the teams will be able to boost their health greater than ever before. In previous iterations, Juggernaut was the main source of health buffs. However, with full armor and Juggernaut in Black Ops Cold War, players can allegedly survive 10 hits from a zombie. I don't know if that's actually fair because I thought about this when I first read it and it almost reminds me of the God Mask from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies in Revelations if you guys remember that. That was just kind of like an OP version of something that I think it was good at the time but thinking back on it it's like 10 hits damn. I think they're not going to make it exactly like that they're probably going to try to keep it basic to where it's almost like if you had a shield on. And if you just have a shield, you can take a bunch of hits from the shield. Eventually, you're going to lose the shield. And then you get hit, what, two or three times, you're dead. So maybe it'll be like that. But moving on here, perks in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. It says here that while previous leaks outline which perks to expect in the newly revamped Zombies mode, a few new details have actually slipped through the cracks. And there is one new perk of cola in the game. That is referred to as elemental pop now the unique perp, perk is will all activate an ammo mod at random and you may be wondering what an ammo mod is that's because they are entirely new to black ops cold war as well there are four ammo mods in total and chugging this new perk will randomly give out one at a time now if you guys are kind of curious what exactly they're talking about what it is is i believe it's going to be just the double perk that you guys get got in black ops 3 as you guys know if you pack a punch your gun you're going to get a pack a punch weapon if you pack a punch it again you're going to get a double pack weapon which could have been anything from dead wire turned blast furnace thunder wall or fireworks and i believe there's one more but i don't remember unless there that was all of them but it does say here that the four ammo mods that you'll be getting is the first one is Cairo freeze which is frost damage and slows the enemies down. Next up is dead wire. Everybody knows what dead wire is. Electrical damage and stuns the enemies. Napalm blast, fire damage and burns the zombies. It's basically just blast furnace. And then brain rot turns a zombie to an ally. So it's just turned. The Cairo freeze is the one that's still kind of puzzling me. I'm trying to figure out exactly which one that reminds me of. Because it doesn't really remind me of fireworks at all. And I know it's not Thunderwall. So I'm not really sure which one that could remind me of at the moment now one of these effects will be applied to your equipped weapon changing how that map will play out moving forward 
Also of note, Pack Punch has been changed to fit these new ammo mods as well. Now, whenever you're Pack Punching a gun in Black Ops Cold War, you will reportedly be able to choose from the list. No longer will the upgrade be down to luck. Players will have input in the effects their weapons will come with. So that might be kind of okay, kind of not okay, because I kind of enjoyed the whole game of luck where whenever I would go for the weapons or go for the pack punch, it's almost like, did I want to have Deadwire and Blast Furnace as my two main things? Yes, but it was kind of fun because you it made it more of, okay, I got to keep on playing. I got to keep on surviving these rounds. I got to get the points to be able to keep on trying to spin and try to try to get what I need. It's almost like spinning a mystery box. You're just a game of luck. You never know what you're going to get. And pack punching is kind of the same exact way. You never know what you're going to get out of that mystery box. And you never know what you're going to get out of the pack punch machine whenever it comes to your double perk. Now, moving on here, we have field upgrades now inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now, rather than working with specialists in the upcoming zombies mode, field upgrades are also in focus. And there are seemingly eight in total, though only five may be included at launch. Now, some of these will help wipe out waves of enemies, while others will set your team up to defend a location. Now, they'll all have unique functions, so you have to pick wisely and spread them out among your team. Now, these are the per, or the field upgrades as follows. Number one is Aether Shroud. This one is Mass Your Presence, making you near invisible to zombies in the last five seconds. That kind of sounds almost like the Gobblegum from Black Ops 3, which was called In Plain Sight. If that was a gobble gum for yourself, you, you pop the gobble gum and you were basically invisible for like 10 seconds. This is going to make it to where you were you are going to be invisible and your team is going to be invisible, but you're they're only going to give you five seconds. So seems pretty fair in my opinion. Next up, we have Ring of Fire, which is Ring shows up that boosts damage inside for everyone, also burns enemies that step inside. That kind of sounds pretty cool in my opinion. I don't know if there's anything that really is exactly like that. But that does sound kind of cool because it's almost like if your teammate went down and you need them to get back up, you can almost just run over, have your team get inside this ring, or save like a whole bunch of your teammates go down, go inside that ring, or have them all crawl together, run over inside there, pop your gobble gum you are protected go ahead and revive them everybody can get up and if any zombies try to run in there and get you they will basically be running into suicide now moving on here to the third gut or for the third field upgrade my bad we have healing aura heal yourself and your teammates to full health within a small radius right off the top of my head i'm thinking of near death experience from black ops 3 same as that gobble gum you don't even have to be actually reviving them all you gotta do is just stand near them and they will be reviving and you can just keep on killing zombies as they are getting revived. Or if say if you go down and you are trying to say like you are the one down and they need to revive you. They don't even have to revive you. You can have the gobble gum. You're down. They can just run by you. It will revive you instantly. Next up we have frost blast which is a wind blast of frost damage. Also slow zombies. Kind of sounds almost like the, the ice staff from Origins. I don't know if that's exactly what it is but moving on last thing we have is energy mine which is just a proximity mine we've always had trip mines inside of zombies so probably just the same exact thing now additionally three more field upgrades appear to be joining the list in the future seasons which is going to be called lightning links toxic growth and frenzy guard could all change your strategies as black ops cold war evolves now i don't have any description on what those actually do so in the near future, we should have some description or some descriptions on what exactly those do, hopefully. Next up, we have the new rune upgrade system in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. It says here, while plenty of other details may seem like obvious iterations, runes are supposedly the biggest innovation in Black Ops Cold War, and these serve the role of a fully fledged upgrade system. Everything from perks to weapons can be all upgraded through the root or through the use of runes. Now, with every aspect of the game having three distinct tiers, that leads to a total of 72 permanent upgrades to unlock. Now, these are all purchasable, purchasable with the new in-game currency known as Ethereum, 
kind of sounds like a just throwback to what was in black ops 3 called liquid divinium it says here ethereum comes in both raw and flawless variants there's no telling just how long the grind will be total to tally up the ethereum though playing the game is seemingly the only way to earn this new currency at the moment one example of the rune system at work focused on the stamina, stamina perk with the level 1 upgrade. Movement and pairing effects from stuns and zombie strikes are also going to be reduced by 50%. At the next tier, all fall damage is removed and finally at level 3, players are able to sprint while aiming. So it seems like if you get perks, cool, but you can actually now upgrade your perks to kind of get more bonuses and make the perk almost a little bit better than it once was before next up says here right off the bat you'll notice that zombies have health bars and display damage numbers when being hit black ops 4 had that so we're going to be transferring that now over to black ops cold war and additionally there will be a compass and mini map no different from warzone now zombies will supposedly also have a chance to drop random loot at any time similar to the power up drops and classic zombies experience Though, it says your foes can drop armor, grenade, and even kill streaks according to the leakers. Now, last but not least, there is a new salvage system in the game. As you can progress through the rounds and fend off waves, you will be collecting salvage, or you'll collect salvage, which can then be used to build various tools. Now, this can be from explosives to support equipment and even monkey bombs, and crafting will be a key feature in zombies. So it seems almost like if you were trying to build, say, like a shield or even a wonder weapon, you are kind of forced to go and try to kill these weapons. It's not like you can just run around the map, open up the map, get your shield and go. No, you have to actually now, it seems like, fight the zombies in order to get those things. Now, as zombies, or as always, with early leaks, do take this information with a grain of salt, blah, blah, blah. Cold War is going to be coming out very soon, and... That right there, I think, is everything I have for you guys. Hopefully, you guys did go on to enjoy. That is all the Zombies info that I have for you guys at the current moment. Black Ops Cold War Zombies is going to be pretty crazy here in the next few weeks. I cannot wait for it. I hope you guys are excited as well. I will have another video out for you guys soon about multiplayer. This was for Zombies. I will have some multiplayer information coming out very soon. So, stay tuned for that video. And if you guys want to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do drop a like. It'd be very much appreciated if you guys do so. And also, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, it'd be very much appreciated while you're at it. Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified the very second I post a video here on the channel. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, links to my Instagram and Twitter are down in the description. And also, my username to my TikTok is down there. I believe I'm at like 22,000 followers, so go follow me over there. It'd be very, very much appreciated. And go follow me or go sub to my second YouTube channel. It, if you guys want to go ahead and sub there, it'll be in the channel bar of this channel. So go sub. And also, if you guys want to rep the Hype Nation merch, link to my merch store is down there in the description. So go ahead and check out the Hype Nation brand. But without further ado, guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.